King County is one of the largest counties in America, in a part of the country that's a great place to live. Western Washington State. It has vibrant cities and towns, diverse communities, and inviting open spaces with farmlands and forests that make living here so popular. King County also is a great place to work, and the local population is expected to grow remarkably as our economy grows. And one of the largest employers in the area is King County itself. From transportation to health care to criminal justice to managing parks, thousands of employees are hard at work every day to serve the people who live and work here. And you are now part of the King County team. Congratulations! In the next few minutes, we would like to introduce you to some of the overarching principles we think define what it means to be a King County employee. Whatever department or agency King County employees work in, we all are connected by the same work goals. Outstanding customer service. Continuous improvement on the job. Equity and social justice for everyone we work with. Keeping yourself as healthy as possible. And overall teamwork and collaboration. These are the values we hold high. And here are some of our people who live these values every day. Once a year, the county gives an award to the Transit Operator of the Year. It's one of the best examples of employees delivering the highest level of customer service. While most employees won't be publicly celebrated for their work on the job, this event signifies job number one, great customer service. I asked Executive Constantine, what do you want customer service at King County to be? And he said, better. And what research has shown us is that um, employees who feel really engaged in customer service as part of their job are also very engaged in their work and feel um, a sense of ownership and tied to the organization. Okay. Well, you're in the right place, and this looks like an old civil case. Are you trying to access this file? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. When people come here, you know, sometimes, you know, they're scared, they're nervous, they don't know where to go, and they need that friendly voice, that friendly person to meet. It's going to help them and guide them, walk you through it step by step. But the first part, I will go and grab your microfilm. Okay. Yeah. Basically, all of us here, my colleagues and I, have like a kind of an undisclosed mantra that the, when it comes to customer service, they deserve no less than our very best. If I can give someone who's having a hard time, they've just got a divorce, they need a divorce decree, or they've got to come in here for a protection order, if I can make their life a little easier, explain something a little bit easier to them, um, show them some understanding, I think that's what makes my day better. This right here is your decorative copy, mm -hmm. so the officiant will complete this and have you guys sign this, and this is the pretty one you get to take home with you, frame, hang on the wall, <laughs> do whatever you like with this one. As long as we are working for a common goal, wanting to get the customer what they need, what they want, as quickly and efficiently as we possibly can. We have a lot of customers, couples that get very emotional and start crying, you know. They never thought that they would be here. <laughs> they go away laughing or smiling or thanking you. We screen over 30,000 people a week just through this facility itself, not counting our other facilities throughout the county. It's critical and far from the customer service standpoint that we treat the people properly coming through the courthouse. It takes a huge amount of patience on the part of our screeners to maintain a professional attitude, but still making sure that people are properly processed in an efficient manner. Good customer service, number one thing that comes to mind is listening. Someone that's helpful, thoughtful, knowledgeable, um, sympathetic to their situation, whether it be a positive situation or a negative situation. So even if you ask me something about another county department, um, I may not have the exact answer, but I'm going to help you get to somebody who does have an answer and follow up with you to be a resource to make sure you're getting what you need. There's another aspect to customer service, and that is the way in which we provide services to each other. Anyone with whom we interact can be thought of as a customer, because that helps the government run more efficiently, and it helps all of us be happier in our jobs. I think we all found when we put it all together, it was stunning to us just how complicated the process had become. 
Across all King County departments, employees are embracing a workplace principle called LEAN. Different departments working together to improve processes and... It's about continuous improvement. So we are looking every day to see what we can improve, where we can make things better, and really the way we're doing that is LEAN. It is the best way we know to improve value for our customers at the same time as we are improving the lives of our staff. And that led to some of these inefficiencies. In its most simple definition, anything that does not add value to a customer's experience is a waste, which is where the term lean really gets its meaning. So the problem is that there must be, I'm guessing, 20,000 people in this system right now that we do not have updates on. A problem is just an opportunity to fix something and make it better. And so people are not afraid to show problems. By making a problem visible is the only way that you're really going to be able to solve it. If no one knows it's there, no one's going to solve it. We've streamlined a process that was many, many steps, 52 steps down to maybe about 10 or 12 steps. King County Elections is one office that success is judged by the most accurate, fastest turnaround time possible for voter results. And this is where the lean principles continually come into play. A lot of times you're not able to know how much faster and how much savings you're going to be able to accumulate over time. Now that I've adopted this method in my work group, I'm able to document everything and I can show if something hurt the area, if something is really, really beneficial to the area. I've made significant changes and I'm able to actually document and give my supervisors the raw numbers to compare it against last election to show the progress which is happening. We should be listening to our customers our residents, our taxpayers, understanding what they really want and creating exactly what they want with minimal waste. King County is a great place to live and work with people, languages and cultures from all over the world. Unfortunately, our research shows that where you live, how much you make, and the color of your skin can affect your chances of living well and thriving. That's why King County launched its Equity and Social Justice Initiative to ensure that every resident has a fair shot at success, regardless of race, wealth, or neighborhood. I'm a public health nurse with Healthcare for the Homeless Network in homeless shelters and places that serve homeless people. With the whole effort being that uh, people who are living in suboptimal conditions will have access to some kind of basic hygiene and know-how about how to avoid getting sick. And have you had one before? Uh, last year. Oh good. No problems with that, right? No. And you're not allergic to eggs, are you? No. We're working with homeless populations who are probably the most disenfranchised people in our county. And that population group is made up of people from various backgrounds and are disproportionately represented in the homeless population. There you go. Great. Good for another year. Good, great. Thank you for coming in. Okay. Well. And you can't get any closer to the population than meeting them right where they slept that night or where they're going to have their meal or where they're going in for you know, basic day-to-day -day services like hygiene services or simply to meet with a case manager. It's important to correct the disparities that, that we're looking at. It's important that people have equal access to housing and to um, health care. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, great. Not too bad, huh? Every month in King County, new immigrants are officially sworn in as citizens of the United States. And at every session, King County is there to make sure people are registered for one of the most important rights they will ever have. One of the key principles of democracy goes like this. You may not have your way, but you'll always have your say. To make sure that every citizen who's eligible to receive a ballot, that they are given that opportunity. And it's not looking at uh, the color of a person's skin. It's not stereotyping or being biased about a person's viewpoints because equity and social justice is not uh, just for one person to do, but it's something that encompasses all people. I wish you all the very best.
This is a community center in White Center with the emphasis on community. All right, ready, set, go. White Center is one of the most diverse neighborhoods in the county, and this facility and its staff are a great example of how King County strives to be inclusive in every way possible. I've had the chance to work all over the county, and I appreciate every community I've been in. This community just seems to have a, a beautiful world vision about treating each other right, taking care of family, making sure everybody is getting fed, everybody has somewhere safe to go at night. I really enjoy the staff that we have. We're so fortunate with the folks that we have that give up their time to come in and work with the kids. Uh, but beyond all of that, just our general White Center community is very supportive, very giving, um, very happy to have a place to go that's safe. You two ready? On your mark, get set, go. As the chair of the King County Council, I was very uh, happy that we made equity and social justice a key component part uh, of county government. We felt that the government would be much better. Our core commitment as a government is that every person in this county will have the opportunity to fulfill his or her potential. While it's important for King County employees to take good care of every customer, it's just as important to take good care of yourself. When I joined King County Family and enrolled in the Healthy Incentives, I became very aware that I had high cholesterol. I was in a high obesity rate from my height. I was weighing 170 pounds. I could not sleep. I I ended up going to the doctor, getting a bag of pills. The very first day Yoli Gerasimov arrived to work as a King County employee, she weighed 70 pounds more than she does today. Once I got started with the healthy incentives, there was no stopping. I saw my health improve, I felt better, I started seeing the levels of my cholesterol getting better, my diabetes was controlled, my sleeping disorders stopped. I just felt healthier, I feel great. My question to you is, what is your motivation? It eliminates going to the doctor quite a bit. It also helps their diet. People, when they exercise, are more apt to eat healthier. And it changes their way of life. Wherever you are as a King County employee, you're never far from becoming one step healthier. I guess I have a duplicate sign on, and I can uh, sign it, and I can't sign it on my radio. This is a transit control center for King County, a high-tech, high-stress environment where the demands of the job don't leave much opportunity for exercise. This is considered to be one of the highest stress jobs within the county. Okay. Here's, here's the plan. Employees have asked for some way to exercise here. They don't get a scheduled uh, lunch break. They work a straight eight hours. Exercise is important. It keeps their mind sharp. It reduces blood pressure. All of the employees that work here have been with Metro a very long time, most of them 25 to 30 years. It's very important to, to stay healthy. When our employees are healthier, there's less expense for them and less expense for the taxpayer in providing employee health care. In five years, from 2007 to 2011, we saved $46 million, in large part because our employees took on challenges in their lives and they became healthier. No matter what your job is at King County, Chances are you'll work closely with employees in your own work group as well as from across different departments and agencies. That's because we've learned that when we collaborate, support and learn from one another, it's not just the customer who benefits, we all do. For employees on the front line at the Department of Judicial Administration, working as a team enables them to effectively meet their needs of the customer. Teamwork is the biggest thing that we have to do every day. We have to work with each other, we have to communicate, we have to make sure that when we're transferring over to a new position that we're setting up our team for success. It's a kind of teamwork where you don't even need verbal communication, that you just look at each other 
you know what's expected. We all want to see each other succeed and we want to make our customers happy. KCIT Service Center, this is Kenisa. How may I help you? In a typical day, I could take around 30 calls. They're looking for help. They're locked out of their computer. They need software installed, printer access. Great, I can help you with that. The breadth of knowledge because we have so many people call us for so many things. There is no way that one person could hold all of that in their head. Anything can happen at any moment. And it's good to know that you have people on your team that know what to do and that want to help and want our team to succeed. Last week we didn't have a single person that was dissatisfied with our service and that's really nice. Being a King County employee means that we have an opportunity to serve the public and in our daily work we may help an individual we may help a community, or often we may help two million people and those who've yet to come. So whatever your role here in King County, you're contributing to a place that has a high quality of life and great promise for those yet to move here, those yet to be born. There aren't that many jobs where you get a chance to make that kind of impact.